Hey guys, I got some uh, litmus paper, pH test strips they call it here, uh, from Amazon. And I'll place the link for, below for anybody interested. I'm going to do a soil pH test in various places in the property and see if I need to amend the soil with lime because I'm pretty sure it's acidic here. And it's just been raining heavily so the soil is nice and wet. So it's perfect to do this test. Let's go outside. Actually, I figured I might as well go through and open this with you. So I just took it out of the first package. And there's two packs inside there. Let me open one of these. Sorry, I'm using one hand here with the camera. Now here is the pH test paper, otherwise known as litmus paper back in the day. And you've got 100, I think, 100 or 80 of these test strips. Uh, two packs of 100. So there's 100 test strips here. So... I'm going to go outside, take a couple of these with me, and we'll do some soil tests. We'll see you out there. Uh, by the way, just so you know, they uh, start out this yellow color, and based on whatever color they turn, you have this pH setting with the corresponding color. So, we'll do some experiments one day on, the, uh, on video and show you uh, some fun tests with litmus paper. But for now, i got to see if I need to put lime in the soil. Okay, here we have our lettuce bed, and the plants are not growing really, so I've got my pH strips here. We're just going to rip off a, a strip, All right? You want your hands to be dry too while you do this, because you don't want to affect it with your own acidic or acid level. And I'm going to just stuff that into the dirt. I want to see what the acid level of the soil here is. Leave it in there for a few seconds. Then obviously I have to rinse my hand before I go on to another um, test strip so I don't uh, mess up the results. Leave it in there for like 10 seconds or so. It's going to start changing color to show the pH uh, level of the soil. Hopefully, anyway. It should start changing color. And then we'll compare it to the... Um, color chart on the kit. Now I'm going to go over to the garden. I'm going to do the same while that's sitting there. So be back in a minute here. Okay. I'm going to rip off another strip here and I'm going to jam it in. The soil is very, very damp. Otherwise you would have to make a slurry mixture with the, um, let me see, can you see that spot right there? Yeah. You'd have to make a slurry mixture with water, uh, distilled water, they say, to get a proper pH test. Now this soil's been sitting here for a while. Um, this mixture here has been sitting for a while, so I'm going to let that soak for a, a minute to, uh, to get a um, pH test here of my garden soil. So the addition that I put on top it's been raining for days and days and days. So the soil that I put on top that I hauled in and the nutrients and the pH level of that has had a chance to mix in with the soil underneath. So we have a pretty good mixture now. So I'm gonna let that sit and uh, I think I'm gonna actually get, find some rainwater that ran off and, uh, and wet that up a little bit more. And we'll come back to our two pH test strips and see what our results are. Alright guys, I just pulled it out. Sorry, that's as far as I can get my camera to go down. I just pulled it out and set it here and uh, compared to the color chart uh, we got like a 5 or 6 Oops, we got like a, a 5 or a 6, more like a 6 uh, pH level. Actually it says the color will change instantly immediately pull it out and uh, for comparison, I uh, dropped one in to the rainwater here just to see if it would get a different color. And it's a very bland, bleached looking color. I'm going to go in and do some vinegar on one just for comparison to make sure this stuff is actually doing anything. So let's go over to the garden and see what it, its color is. I'm guessing it's going to be the same yellow color. Okay. We got an orangey yellow color. It's blotchy. So 
depending on what it's touching, it does sort of like make a difference on the strip. So looking at the pH indicator chart, we've got, um, let's say that's more of a, a four or five, it's an orange, more of a four or five in the garden soil. So um, looks pretty acidic. We're going to try this with some vinegar and some baking uh, soda and uh, see a comparison on the, on the chart and see where we, where it, how it looks in comparison. Okay, I have a test strip here. I've got some uh, vinegar. Alright, I'm just going to real quick over the sink, you're not going to see this, but I'm going to pour the vinegar over the strip real quick. Just a tiny bit to wet that strip. And we get an instantaneous color change showing us an acid level of about two or three okay so there you have results now I'm going to try the same with um, baking soda just to give me a comparison make sure that these are good and working but there you have instant results with vinegar it is instantaneous the color change by the way okay so uh, guys here baking soda water mix it in well it's going to be a base so it should give us a uh, different color on the range here on a, on a just chart there you go green instantaneously green which shows you about a uh, eight on the scale eight or nine it's not a precise um, science but there you go the litmus paper does work and there you can see the instant color changes based on the acid level. So there you go guys, here's vinegar, highly acidic, here's our soil, and here is baking soda. There's the results of the litmus paper tests uh, showing the color change. I better get that off my uh, counter and Melanie will have a fit. I'm color changing her countertop. So Melanie, can you grab me a wet paper towel quickly please? I'll wipe that up right away before it sinks in. And there's your, uh, your color charts. So, guys, I'm going to continue on with some soil tests today and hope I can get this stain off the counter of our new house. And uh, we'll be back to you guys in a little bit.